All I can really say today is, damn. I have had non-stop issues and with the RV, and I would be lying if I said that I haven't contemplated just throwing in the towel for this winter, going to rent somewhere on the beach, and yeah, come back when it's warmer, because this morning when I woke up, it was only 36 degrees in here. It was not a propane issue, it was a battery issue. So I started the generator, started the heater back up. That worked for about two hours, then I was out of propane. So then I had to go and uh, fix that outside. And I'm pretty sure there's a gas leak on one side, which is just wasting propane. But I ended up just turning on that tank there because it was only nine degrees outside. And I was like, screw it, kind of like, it'll get me through like, you know, whatever. I had a meeting coming up with a client. And then the kitchen sink lines froze again, which is pretty common nowadays. Um, and then what happened? I went to go get gas for the generator because I was gonna be, or I'm going down to the springs tomorrow. And I just let the generator run, you know, while I'm gone to make sure that everything's okay. And then now I just went to wash my hands in the bathroom sink and there's like no water. Turn on the water pump and it doesn't sound right. So I have a feeling that water is frozen somewhere else in other lines and it's only 17 degrees right now so definitely one of the cooler, colder days. But I just like, yeah, I don't really know what to do. I have this feeling of like I just can't give up, you know? But then I also have this feeling of like there has been like nothing that's worked well with this so far. Except for the generator. Oh my gosh, I love my freaking generator. It's remote start too. And this morning when it was nine degrees outside, I was like, fingers crossed, please work, you know, and thankfully it started. It took a little while, but thank God it started. I didn't have to go outside. Even if I went outside, I don't know what I would do to get it to start. So yeah, I don't know. I feel like I'm looking for answers today on like what to do. I have this feeling, like I said, like I don't want to give up, but also it's just like, every day is something um between water electricity propane like yeah it's it's been a challenge like for sure and yeah i need to dig this gas line or this trench for this gas line so that they can hook up the big propane tank to the rv but i have to pay roughly around a thousand dollars to dig this trench to rent the equipment and everything i have to get a different receiver hitch whatever for my truck and then the time like spent you know doing it and hoping that it's powerful enough with all the rock up here and everything and i don't even know how much the guy's going to charge to run the gas line for me so yeah i don't know i think i need to do some serious contemplation on kind of what to do next because i mean this isn't even the coldest of days and i have a little puppy that's going to be born in less than a week he's in tennessee but i um i'm the first pick of the litter which i'm super super excited about but i need to just kind of yeah I need to get this place puppy ready I got a kennel um, to put outside that will be enclosed tops or the top the sides all of that but again I need to customize it to make it work and we're not even into the coldest snowiest months yet like it's December 2nd right now so yeah I just thought I'd do an update I mean like I said in the beginning I'm gonna be real and authentic and this has been hard like there's some things that are appealing about the challenge and getting through the challenge, but like some of this stuff, like I really would just like prefer it to be easy. Like yesterday I turned on the espresso machine, forgot to turn off the space heater that I have. And so it um, turned off the power and I was like, okay, it's probably just a breaker. Check the box. None of them had been tripped. So I was like, okay, what the heck? Like, I didn't know there was a breaker on the generator that could be tripped. So I was literally looking up like how to quickly winterize an RV. Like I'm going back to mom and dad's for now, for tonight at least, like I can't do this, you know? And then I found out that there's a breaker on the or, or on the generator that had been tripped. So I just had to reset that. So it was fine. But then here we are today, like more issues. And I don't know, I, I feel like once I get the big propane tank set up, um, that will help a ton as long as there's no leaks like in the lines, which it would be leaks in the RV lines. So I don't know. And then I bought a big expensive solar system that I'm going to install. I should have it here shortly. And that will actually be the solar system for my house as well, which will help not having to gas all the time for the generator, which the generator is propane and gas, but I'm going through propane so freaking fast that like, I don't even want to use propane for that because I need it for the furnace, uh, the water heater and the cooking. So 
yeah, I don't really know. I'm going to try to meditate and try to figure out what to do. And I mean, I know that there's lessons in this and I'm learning a ton and that's great, but still it's just like, what else? Like literally every day is something new. Every day is something a little bit worse or like harder to kind of troubleshoot and stuff. And I mean, waking up to 36 degrees inside is not fun. And today wasn't the only day that that's happened. So need to figure this out, but I appreciate all the love and support. I know I'll get through this one way or the other and just wanted to share what's actually going on right now. So I have to share my wins as well. And uh, the tank heater is working extremely well and there's not even any ice and it is like 15 degrees outside. You can probably see my breath. And uh, I, uh, the RV was out of water. I thought it was because lines had frozen or something because I couldn't, there's no water in the bathroom sink. But it looks like the fresh tank might just be empty and the water pump worked right away, working well. So I'm extremely happy about this. And yeah, hopefully it's not something frozen somewhere because I don't really know what I would do to fix that because the storage area is heated and it's actually warm in there. So um, anyway, I just thought I'd do a video to kind of show it the things that go well because I just did a video of everything not going well today. So super, super, super grateful and happy for this. Video number three for today, um, unfortunately the water pump still isn't working and I have a feeling that the freshwater tank got too low and froze and that's the issue. So I filled it up completely and the water pump, you can hear it running, but it's not actually pumping water. So then I was like, well, maybe there's like air in the line somewhere. So I just went out to look at it, look at the water heater and stuff. And there's like this um, uh, braided plumbing line coming off of the line that goes into the uh, water pump. And there's a valve on it. And so I opened it and I could hear air release out of that line. And I was like, oh, perfect. Like, I feel like that's what I need. So then I came in, turned the pump on again, and it sounded different. And I was like, sweet, like maybe that's all it was, was like air in the line. And then water was like trickling out of the bathroom sink. The kitchen sink has not had water all day. Like those lines freeze. I mean, yeah, all the time, I feel like. Um, but I've never gone without water in the bathroom until today. Um, and so I was like, okay, cool. You know, it's trickling out, whatever. Like at least there's something coming through, like maybe progress being made. And then the pump would sound the same and it wouldn't turn off and there, the water from the bathroom sink would run out. And so then I went outside again and I was like, well, maybe I need to like release air again. You know, I don't really know. And so I tried that. And again, I heard air come out, I came back inside. It was just trying different things like, um, you know, leaving the faucets open, closing them, releasing the air, like letting the pump run for a while before I tried to run water and stuff like that. And as I sit here right now, I have no viable solution. Um, but I feel like it's not a pump issue because thankfully I'm getting some water. So I think that the water at the bottom of the tank was just frozen and might still be frozen. Unfortunately, I filled it up completely with water. So if I had known or would have thought that it was an issue with the, um, the tank being so low that the water in there froze, I would have boiled water in here and poured that in there first. But I filled the tank so full that it was coming out of the overflow. So I can't even put more water in there right now, even if I wanted to do boiling water. So I don't really know. I have other water in here that I use for like drinking water and stuff from my filtration system. So I'll be fine for tonight, you know, to do dishes, brush my teeth, all of that. But yeah, I don't know. Thank God it's supposed to warm up tomorrow and, you know, the next few days are going to be warm. Um, otherwise, yeah, I legitimately don't know. I feel like I should just buy another water pump just in case, like that's what it is. Or if I ever need to swap one out quickly. Um, but yeah, so back to <laughs> how the morning started, um, which I mean, there's, there's intrigue in the challenges and like trying to figure it out. And once I opened that valve and I heard air come out, like it feels like success in a way, you know, because like I just. It's like the process of figuring it out. And I feel like the universe is just testing my thinking with things like, you know, are you going to be so limited in your thinking that you're not going to figure it out and that you're just going to succumb to, to the loss of it all and just kind of give up on it. And I trust my intuition with everything. And I just genuinely have this feeling that I'm being tested to kind of see like, what are you going to do about it? You know, and so much of it is limited thinking, or I, I should say can be limited thinking for, you know, I, your reaction to it, you know, and I'll never forget. I don't know if you guys remember 
um, over the summer, I passed a cow in someone's um, lot, neighborhood, or like yard, whatever, and it was tied up in hail, uh, hail, hay, bale, twine, and it was wrapped around his back leg and ankle and wrapped around his neck. So every time he would try to walk, he would pick up his neck and it would tighten. And he knew I was trying to help him, but unfortunately I didn't have any scissors, cutters, nothing in my truck. So I couldn't cut it off. And then um, I went and got scissors from my neighbor. I went back, but the cow was too far away from the fence, so I couldn't do anything. And he was still tied up. And uh, when I was trying to help him, his friends were not very nice. Like, they were kind of charging at me and, like, trying to kick me and stuff. Even though I didn't go into their yard, I was just, you know, trying to reach through the fence because he was pretty close. But um, so there was absolutely no way I was going to be hopping someone's fence to go cut this, you know, cow out. And then... It was either that night or the next night as I was sleeping. I literally woke up in the middle of the night like, oh my God, I could have just pulled the twine over its back. And yeah, it would have been dragging the twine unless I could have, you know, kind of got it untied from his uh, ankle. But it was this massive like aha moment of my limited thinking stopped me from being able to help that cow and see other alternatives. And I also had another situation where I normally don't give homeless people, um, you know, on the street corners anything. I donate to Springs Rescue Mission instead, um, you know, because obviously I care about them and all of that. But I think that, you know, giving it to an organization like that ends up serving them better. So I don't normally give them anything on the street corners. Well, I saw this one guy and uh, anytime I'm kind of having a bad day, I try to be more deliberate about giving to someone else. So I buy people's drinks at Starbucks. You know, that's like a really easy way for me to just kind of, you know, do something nice for someone. And it's just random. And this one day, something. I just wasn't feeling the best. I was like, you know what? I'm just going to give this guy, um, I had some Lara bars in my truck. And so, I mean, granola bars, whatever, you know? And I go to give it to him. I was like, I'm sorry, I don't have any money, but I have this. And the look on his face was just pure disappointment. Like, are you serious? You know, like, I don't want this. And then he goes, I can't eat this. I have bad teeth. And he was all like, had an attitude. And I was just like, oh my God, like didn't expect it. And I was just like, okay, like rolled up my window and just took off. And it was another lesson of his limited thinking stopped him from receiving a soft amazing like expensive freaking bar that like you know quality ingredients all of that and the thing is is it was soft but his limited thinking was like no this is hard i don't want it i can't eat it and his limited thinking is what's keeping him stuck in that situation in a lot of ways and i mean not to um demean homeless people by any means and say that they deserve it or anything like that i believe that the universe offers us situations to teach us and you know the universe is a mirror to us you know everything we experience on the outside is really a reflection of something on the inside and so with all of this too i'm just like okay where am i not where am I limiting my thinking? Where am I not being completely open to different solutions and things like that? So going back to opening up that line and having air come out, it was like, ah, like I just, I just tried it. You know what I mean? It was just like, what else can I do? There's gotta be something, you know? So in those moments, I know that like in a big way, that's what I'm intended to do. I'm intended to break through the limited thinking and, um, you know, the things that are holding me back and, you know, the things that hold society back in a lot of ways, because, really there's always an option there's always something that can be done there's always something to try like um and i know that that's what the universe is really pushing me to do and that's why in the moments i feel like giving up like not gonna lie like sometimes i go down that rabbit hole of like i could just get an airbnb on the beach right now and like just peace out i'll be back in a couple months like you know but then i just I, my intuition says are you really gonna give up like is that who you are is that who you want to be and the answer is a resounding no like i i'm not I don't, that's just not who I am. Like this process of building a house is not going to be easy, but the thing that's going to get me through it the best is being able to think creatively and outside the box and without limitation. And so I genuinely think that the universe is just testing my ability to do that and problem solve and you know, how much endurance I have for this, for lack of a better word. So anyways, just thought I would do another update on that and just kind of, you know, how today has gone, how the past few weeks have gone, if I'm being completely honest, but I'm not giving up. So I appreciate your guys' love and support. It really does mean a lot because I know that if I give up, the message I'm sending out is, is for other people to give up too. So I'm going to be strong and I appreciate all your kind words and support and love very, very much so.